Yeah, boy! A lot of locals have been telling me about a place in the countryside called Tequila. They told me that this is where tequila originated from. I said, all right, I'll go for a day and we'll just see how it is. Didn't know anything about it. I knew it was a small town in the desert. And as I got a little bit closer, agave plants just started everywhere. It was really cool because you could just see all the you know spikes sticking out. The only thing I knew about it was to find the cathedral that's the center of the town and then branch out from there. It was this beautiful little just complete Mexican town in the middle of the desert. Every direction is just desert. Immediately it's just singing and dancing. And so I find a little restaurant and I decide to get a little bit of food. And then I asked them, you know, what is this this drink? What is everyone drinking? They said it's a cantarito. Cantarito, Cantarito. <laughs> Went to another square and there's lots of music and here they're making the Cantaritos on the street. And it was just so lively, it was so amazing. No phones, no technology. Amazing, just beautiful, just life. I was just walking around and it was another band that was playing. And so I stopped and I sat and I was just having my drink. And one of the people in the group came up and he started speaking very fast Spanish to me and I told him, I don't, you know, mi espanol es malo, like I don't fully understand everything you're saying. And he said, yeah, hold on. And he went and got a friend and his friend came back and his friend spoke English. He was like, hey, I know what it's like to not be uh, able to fluently speak a language and we want you to feel included. So today you're a part of our Mexican family. So come with us. So they just welcomed me into this, this family immediately within just seconds, they reversed it and did what I did. And they just brought me into their family and they said, sit with us. And when I'd sit, sometimes they'd say, dance with us. And sometimes they'd say, you know, me, my cousin and meet, you know, all these people. And just, God, it just cost nothing to make me feel so welcome. And I'm so far in the middle of nowhere in a place that so many people said, don't go to mainland Mexico. Don't drive around mainland Mexico. Don't go to Guadalajara. Don't go to Mexico City. It's too dangerous to do this. It's too dangerous to go here. And I know that that danger exists. If I would have listened to all the fear, I would have missed these moments that have been happening all day, every day. <laughs> Thank you.